Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Merry Thriftmas day number seven. And today, instead of going to a thrift store, we're actually gonna go to an estate sale. And if you've been following my channel for a while or you've seen some of my previous videos, I love going to estate sales. I think it's a really fun way and just a different way to source some inventory. And I've honestly been going to them since before I was a reseller. And you can find some really cool stuff. You can also find like amazing deals on furniture and things like that but yeah today I'm going to source inventory for my Poshmark closet and I look online before I go to estate sales normally and I try to look at the pictures to see if there's anything that catches my eye if it might be my style you can sometimes tell if it's gonna be like an older estate sale like more vintage items based on the house and the furnishings um, they don't always show the clothing I've noticed a lot of times they just take like an overview picture of the closet and it's really hard to see like brands or styles unless the people having the sale know specific brands and then sometimes they'll post like a tag of them but anyways the sales this weekend um, none of them looked like they had a ton of clothing or there weren't a lot of details on them and I look on estatesales.net I've mentioned that before but um, yeah there were some that looked I don't know okay so I picked one that is in an area that I know is pretty nice and they showed one picture of the closet I have no idea if it's gonna be good or not but I figured I would go and it's pretty early today I'm heading out first thing to go shopping and then I'm gonna come back and do some work at the house because I have a lot to do so I'll probably just bring you along obviously to the estate sale and then we'll see what else our day unfolds into where our day takes us but let's go to the estate sale. So I'm at the estate sale now and I'm early so I'm sitting outside waiting for them to open and I'm just listening to a podcast hanging out. It's actually really nice out today and yeah we'll see whenever they open we'll head inside but oh I wanted to ask let me know your favorite podcast down in the comment section below because I'm always looking for new ones I typically listen to like true crime podcasts I also really like the skinny confidential his and her podcast but I need some new ones so leave them down in the comment section for me
this is everything that I just picked up. I have two Ikea bags full and I'm gonna go home and do a haul. Starting off the haul with clothing and the first item is this big oversized sweater. It's got this draped cowl neck but it also has a hood which I thought was cool. Um, it's got these big dolman sleeves and then pockets down there and the brand on this one is Diane von Furstenberg which I don't always pick up Diane stuff but this I thought was a really classic piece. The wrap dresses I do like but some of the other stuff I think sits for a while. So this is a size small. This next item is a bright kind of coral color card again it's got this high low hem at the bottom a little bit asymmetrical and it is from anthropology it's this brand left of center it's a size extra small they do a lot more like basic type of stuff kind of like this cardigan t-shirts things like that but I feel like they do pretty well on posh so I picked that up and then I got a lot of jackets you're gonna see and the first outerwear piece I got was this women's plaid vest it's just a puffer vest and it's from Patagonia it's a women's size extra small um, the thing with going to estate sales is obviously the clothes usually come from like one or two people so the sizes are all pretty much consistent across the board so a lot of extra smalls and smalls um, but yeah that's a Patagonia extra small and it has this nice detachable hood which you can zip off and it's got the faux fur um, like fleecy trim so perfect for this time of year I was really excited when I spotted this because you can see the big Lululemon symbol on the front. It's a Lululemon scuba hoodie, this really thick knit, and it still has the tag inside, um, the size tag, and this one is a size 8, so that was nice because, like I said, most of her stuff was smaller, but this one was a size 8. It's got the logo on the back. This looks like it's never been worn. It's in amazing condition. And then I also found in that same closet this Harley Davidson leather jacket. It's a women's leather jacket. It's black. It's got a bunch of different like details on it and this one is a size small it's in excellent condition the back is probably my favorite it's got this big embroidered shield logo with the bird and I like selling Harley stuff and leather jackets do especially well Onto a couple bottoms. The first one is this skirt. It's black and embroidered and it also has all this lattice cutout detailing and it's by Free People and this one also happens to be new with tags which is nice. It is a size zero and it retailed for $148. Um, I do think black sometimes can be a little bit hard to photograph so hopefully I'm able to show all the amazing details on this item. The next pants, the print caught my eye right away and then I also thought it was cool how it had all these different pockets on the front. They're just a skinny, kind of a twill material pant with this matching belt and they're by Pete and Greta which is a Johnny Was line sister line and it's a size zero and again just amazing condition a lot of the stuff still had like dry cleaning tags on it like it had been dry cleaned and then not worn again so it was in really good shape and then some men's jackets which I found all together in this like really small dark closet except for the last one but they're North Face so I got this North Face men's Denali fleece just a classic black zip up size extra large and the one thing about this it does have a small flaw this pocket the zipper stuck I can't get the zipper to go up so I'll just note that in the description but I wanted to go ahead and get it anyway because it's definitely still a really useful jacket the next North Face piece is this men's red I don't I don't know if it's exactly a raincoat or something else I'm gonna have to look up the styles but this one's a size small and it zips up the front however the zipper on this one is broken but again I got it anyway because it has velcro so you can still close it and use it and I think I'm gonna go ahead and list it as is and if it doesn't sell or get a lot of interest I'll go ahead and take it to uh, my alterations my seamstress lady and see if she can fix it but I figured I'd go ahead and just get it listed now and like I said if it doesn't have a lot of attention then I'll pay to fix it okay and the final North Face jacket is this really nice this one's a little bit warmer it has more insulation it's another North Face jacket again it's a size small and this one's in excellent condition there's like a very few small spots on the sleeve like I don't even know yeah like right there you can see it's hardly anything so of course just making sure to note any kind of flaws in the listings and take photos of them but definitely still an awesome jacket so I picked that up and then this piece like I'm still shook that I found it because it's amazing it's a designer I absolutely love so if any of you are familiar with a designer who does skull prints it is so it is an Alexander McQueen men's wool blazer it's a size 54 made in Italy just amazing it has two 
buttons, a two button closure. So this is the back of it and there is a small flaw in this one. I didn't notice it until I got it home that it's missing one of the buttons. It looks like it broke off right there. So there's not an extra button on this. So I'm just going to note that in the listing and sell it as is. But overall, I think that might be my best find in a really long time because this probably retailed for, I don't even know, probably a couple thousand dollars. And I know I didn't see any like this online. Okay, I found these boots in one of the closets I went in and I don't know, I absolutely love them. They are real fur and they have this embroidery on them. The brand is called Technica. I've heard of that before. I think they do a lot of these higher end like apres ski boot styles. These would be perfect for someone going to like Aspen on vacation, but they have the nice wedge and they honestly look like they've barely been worn. Um, the size is on the inside and I'm pretty sure they're a size 40. Yeah, size 40, which I'll have to look up the brand and see how that converts. So it'll either be a nine or a 10, but I thought those were too cool to pass up. And then I got one pair of men's cowboy boots. They're this deep burgundy wine color and they are ostrich. And I like selling cowboy or Western boots. I mean, it does fit the vibe of my closet, but also they do sell for quite a bit of money. Some of them retail for a lot. This pair in particular um, is by Lucchese, which is a great Western line. Let me see if I can find the tag. So Lucchese is a high-end boot brand. These are a size 10 and a half D. That's a men's size 10 and a half. And they can go for a lot. Like this pair probably retailed for anywhere from like 500 to 700. And they're in really good condition. So I'm going to hopefully list these around like 200. I'm going to look and see um, what they what the comps look like online. But yeah, Western boots and cowboy boots can definitely bring you a good return on your investment. And then I picked up this pair of women's gloves. They look like they're very free people or anthropology to me. They're the fingerless style. So there is the opening and they're fleece lined. The brand I hadn't heard of and I haven't looked it up. Um, let me pull out the tag. So the brand is French Knot. They're 100% wool, but again, lined in fleece and handmade in Nepal. So I think they're really good quality and I just thought they were fun and cute. And then the last category I have is hats and I picked up four hats. I don't know a lot about them or a lot about hats I should say in general, but I do like picking them up. And of course these caught my eye because they are Rolling Stones. So this first one just has the Rolling Stones embroidery on it and it's got the adjustable snapback, really good condition. And then the next one is almost a wool material. I need to look at the tag, but it feels like wool. And then it has the Voodoo Lounge logo patch on it. I honestly, I think this one's vintage. I feel like it said like 1990 something. Yeah, in the middle. So that one's definitely vintage. This one probably is too. And then these two hats, this one I grabbed because it looks really cool. I'm pretending I'm a cool like streetwear seller <laughs> by picking this up, but it just says Super Bowl champions. It's the Green Bay Packers. I love all this like jazz detailing on it. And it's also a snapback. So I need to look this one up. It could definitely be worth something. It's vintage, I'm pretty sure. And it's in really good condition, but I don't know, it's a little misshapen. So I guess I just need to like stuff it and make it look a little better in the photos. And then the final hat, I have absolutely no idea what this is, but I just thought it was really cool. And again, I'm gonna look it up, but the hats were pretty inexpensive, so I thought it was worth it to try. Um, so that's what it says. It also said something, yeah, on here. So it says, fear and loathing across America and if you guys know what this stuff is, like what, what any of these are, let me know down in the comment section below because that's super helpful just sharing knowledge and information. Of course, like I said, I need to look them up and research, but no idea. Oh, it does say it's limited edition too, which is cool. Grassroots California. So yeah, that is the final little bit of my haul. So that was everything I picked up this morning at the estate sale. Definitely pleasantly surprised by what I was able to find, especially that Alexander McQueen blazer. Like, I cannot believe that I found that. I'm so excited to get that listed and just see where that takes me or where that goes, I guess. But um, everything else I'm really happy with as well. And yeah, like I said earlier, you never know what it's going to be like at an estate sale. And even when I went into that one, like I couldn't find the closets that I saw in the pictures. Like you saw that house was huge and they had like moved everything into different rooms because that family was still 
living there, I think, and they're moving, or they're moving soon. I don't know exactly how it was working, but it was more of like a moving estate sale, which is the kind that I prefer. While I do sell some vintage, I like the ones that are like a moving sale because the stuff is just a little more current. Like obviously I was able to find Lululemon and North Face and all that kind of stuff. Sorry, Macon just ran into the room. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with what I was able to find. And I definitely hope there are more estate sales the rest of this month. That was the only one I was going to this weekend. But hopefully there's some more next week that I can take you along to. And I'm getting more and more comfortable with filming out in public. Like, I want to show you guys as much as I can, but also try and make it interesting and not boring. So I hope you like seeing, like, the stuff as I'm looking through it. And I've listened to you guys' feedback and tried not to, like, speed stuff up to too much. Okay, I had to pick up Macon, sorry, because he was being attention deprived and growling at me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye!